Yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Are you kidding me? What is that garbage? Who wins off that in real life? You know what? It's okay. I'm gonna fix this. These sliders are gonna take your gameplay to the next level. Not only will these sliders adjust the length of your matches, but no matter if you're using a jobber, a mid carter, or a main eventer, they're gonna allow you to have a different outcome every single time. And I have a tip for you later on that I have yet to see on YouTube. So make sure you stick around and let's get on with it. First, we have to get to these sliders. Ah, there it is. Okay, first let's hop into the gameplay settings. So what you're gonna wanna do for this particular set of sliders is have your difficulty on Legend. And some of these are optional, so I'm gonna just go over the ones that actually affect these set of sliders. Weight detection is on simulation. Your rope break is gonna be off. I like to give it that realistic feeling of having the superstar actually grab the ropes. Next, we're gonna go over here to presentation. And I like to set this up so how you would actually watch a match on live TV. So superstar HUD is gonna be off. Fatigue is gonna be on. Control help and match rating off. Camera cuts, shakes, and panning are all gonna be on. Display referee counts off. All right, and over here to the meat and potatoes. So to start us off here, we have the reversal rates for standing strike, standing grapple, ground strike, ground grapple, finisher reversals, and the foreign object attack reversals. So these are all set at what they are because I feel like it gives the best, most realistic feel to the matches where you can, you know, go back and forth, have the reversals. And also at the end of the matches, when it gets a little chaotic, sometimes you see two to three finishers reversed in the matter of a minute. I feel like these sliders capture that pretty good. The grab breaker rate is at 68. The combo breaker rate is at 61. Combo rate at 50. The submission rate, 25. It looks low, but they're still gonna do a fair amount of submissions. The dive rate and the springboard rate, same thing. They're low, but these happen all the time. I had it set at like 30 and I had crazy stuff happening like Undertaker jumping off the rope like four times in a match. So that is why it's at 15. Grapple rate's at 50, strike rate at 50. I have all the attacking um, sliders at 50 except running attack rate because it seems like they do that a little too much whenever it's at 50. So now it's at 40, I lowered that a little bit. The block rate and the dodge rate are both set at 25. I, I mean, to be honest, you don't really see a whole lot of that in the real WWE. So you could even take this maybe a little lower if you wanted. I like the nice happy medium at 25. Uh, entrance run-in. All the run-ins here, um, you'll see I have the entrance in the post-match at zero. I like, if I'm doing something with that, like for say in my universe mode, I like to have complete control over it. So that is why it's at zero. The mid-match, however, it is at one. But same thing with like the dodge rate and the block rate. This still happens all the time, even set at one. I want to say out of 10 matches, probably about four of them still had mid-match run-ins. So this is still going to happen a decent amount of time. Uh, referee downtime, 100. They did a much better job this year with this than they did in WWE 2K22. So now, as you know, whenever the referee gets hit or knocked down they will take longer to count and stuff like that so this setting is at 100 basic reversal windows at 60 ground attack reversal windows at 53 signature and finisher reversal now this is at 65 and it really does a good job of at the end of matches where you see sometimes that chaotic ending to a match it really offers the ability to have that so in matches you'll see two or three reverse finishers or signatures in the last minute of the match so this is really chaotic and i really enjoy this setting weapon reversal 50 stamina cost and recovery rate for stamina as it is at 50 stunned recovery rate at 50 rollout frequency 25 rollout duration 50 uh stun gain and stun duration so stun gains at 42 and durations at 40. i'm not a huge fan of the stun in this game i wish i could put this down to zero but i tried putting it down to zero and it completely broke my game i had 15 to 17 minute matches it was crazy like people were kicking out of like four or five finishers so this is why it's at 40. vitality region cooldown is at 50. 
vitality regen rate 45 same thing with this i am not a big fan of the regen rate like it doesn't to me it doesn't make sense for simulation that you actually gain back some health as you go through a match but like again like i said about um the stun duration i had this lowered to about 10 and i think that was part of the reason it was breaking the matches so this is at 45 ai difficulty damage scaling that's at 50 drag escape and carry escape 35. now before we get into the advanced sliders i'm going to show you something that is absolutely essential for these sliders what you're going to want to do is go back to the home screen go into play just hit confirm and then go into your match options you're going to want this on slow it defaults at normal go ahead and move it to slow all this option really does is slow down your signature and your finisher bar just a little bit so that you know you're not hitting people with four or five signatures or finishers and they're still kicking out this adds a little bit of the slower pace of the match which is more realistic but again it is absolutely essential for these sliders if you do all the sliders the same exact way i did and you did not move this option it will not work the same now going over to the advanced sliders i haven't messed with these at all for these set of sliders but if you want more knowledge on these sliders and what they do for your gameplay so you can change them let me recommend this video to you if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe for more wwe 2k 23 info peace